Friends, today we're discussing one of the most cost-effective and advanced fighter jets in the world, the JAS-39 Gripen. Designed by Sweden's Saab, this aircraft was meant to be an affordable alternative to expensive American, Russian and European jets. But now, some experts believe that the Gripen is running out of time. Why is the Gripen becoming obsolete? Can it still compete with modern fifth-generation jets like the F-35, Su-57 or Rafale? And most importantly, will the Gripen survive in the future battlefield? Let's break it all down. To understand why the Gripen is struggling today, we must first know what makes it special. The JAS-39. Gripen was developed by Sweden's Saab as a multi-role fighter jet that could compete with expensive Western and Russian aircraft while being much cheaper and easier to maintain. It was designed for countries that needed a powerful yet cost-effective fighter, so if the Gripen is so good, why is it struggling? Let's find out. Despite being a highly capable aircraft, the Gripen is facing serious challenges in today's market. There are three major reasons why it is struggling. Today, many countries prefer stealth aircraft, like the F-35 Lightning II, instead of 4.5 generation jets like the Gripen. Since the Gripen does not have stealth, it is less attractive to nations looking for a long-term fighter solution. Saab expected the Gripen to become a major competitor in the global fighter market, but the results have been disappointing. Some major failures include originally selected the Gripen but later rejected it in favour of the F-35, chose the F-35 over the Gripen despite initially considering it, selected the French Rafale instead even though the Gripen was in the competition. These failures in international sales mean that fewer countries are buying the Gripen, putting its future at risk. Even though Sweden is a neutral country, the Gripen uses many American components, such as its General Electric F404 and F414 engines. This creates a major problem because if the US decides to impose export restrictions, some countries might not be able to buy the Gripen. Now, despite these challenges, the Gripen still has some advantages that could help it remain relevant in modern warfare. One of the biggest strengths of the Gripen is its low operational cost. While an F-35 costs around $35,000 per hour to fly, the Gripen costs just $4,700 per hour. This makes it a great option for countries that cannot afford expensive jets. Even though the Gripen does not have stealth, it compensates with electronic warfare, it has one of the best radar jamming systems, making it difficult to detect and target. Saab is working on new upgrades to keep the Gripen relevant, including new radar systems for better target detection, AI-powered avionics to assist pilots, and integration with drones and future combat technologies. These improvements could help the Gripen stay competitive for at least another decade. So what does the future look like for the Gripen? Can it survive in a world dominated by stealth fighters? With low international sales, Saab might struggle to keep the Gripen's production line open. If more countries don't buy it soon, the Gripen program could end within the next decade. Sweden recently joined NATO, which could create new opportunities for the Gripen. NATO countries that want a cheaper alternative to the F-35 might consider the Gripen as a second option. The biggest competition for the Gripen right now is the F-16 V Block 70-72, an upgraded version of the F-16. Many countries that are considering the Gripen are also looking at the F-16 V, which has similar cost but better weapons integration and stronger international support from the US. If countries choose the F-16 V instead of the Gripen, Saab could face even more problems. So is the JAS-39 Gripen really running out of time? The answer is maybe. If Saab secures more international orders, the Gripen could survive for another decade. But if sales continue to drop, production could end within the next few years. The Gripen is still an excellent fighter jet, but in a world moving towards fifth-generation stealth aircraft, it is struggling to stay relevant. So, what do you think? Should countries continue investing in the Gripen, or is it time to retire this legendary fighter? Let me know in the comments. If you liked this explanation, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more such videos. See you in the next one.